Ruby Tuesday Matthews has showed off a second engagement ring almost three years after being proposed to by her fiance, Shannon Dodd. Now, on a surprise romantic getaway, Ruby shared two separate Instagram stories showing off the new ring. So this ring is almost identical to her original engagement ring. So it's a large rectangular diamond. It is around 3.8 carats. So it's a little bit larger than her original ring. And in the photo, the new ring was stacked on top of the original engagement ring. And in the post, she wrote saying yes again and tagged her fiance. And in the second post, she did another close up shot of the ring and said yes again and tagged a jewelry brand. This really confused me. Is this a new thing where if you don't get married in a certain amount of years <laughs> that you then get a second engagement ring? Because if that was the case, I might have put out my wedding bit. Well, my engagement was over two years. I think I'm owed a secondary engagement ring. It definitely did lead to a lot of confusion. And many people thought, well, maybe Shannon and Ruby had split and this is a second proposal. But surely but you wouldn't want to promote the fact that we've actually broken up since being engaged the first time. No, but well, you wouldn't. But there has been a lot of speculation that they broke up last year because Shannon hadn't appeared on any of Ruby's Instagram posts since February and they also weren't liking one another's posts which is a telltale sign but she put the rumors to bed back in June saying I love my kids and I'm not separated I'm very much committed and engaged in my relationship there are things I sometimes like to keep private this was also around the time that Ruby had checked into a facility to get help for a nervous breakdown. So there were a lot of rumors around that time. So that is what is leading everyone to think, well, maybe there's a second proposal because of a breakup. It's a strange one because I have seen influencers share when their engagement ring has been upgraded. So mm. remember Georgie Stevens got a new engagement ring, but that was after they got married. I think even Beck Judd has had a improved engagement ring. But the fact that she has stacked the new and the old one on top of each other it's very ruby isn't it i wonder if this is some kind of marketing ploy i have seen a lot of people advertising dupes of their rings maybe this is some kind of dupe copy well, i mean it's a bit bigger i don't think it's a dupe but i do think that she is trying to drum up engagement for this new jewelry business because i had a look at the brand so it's called to jaws and the account was launched on the 27th of march it only has 193 followers and six posts and two of the posts feature Ruby's new engagement ring. So I wonder if this is a friend's business. She's trying to create some engagement around it. I did love in our Facebook group that a lot of people were commenting on the photo because it was Ruby's hand with so much jewelry on it. And someone's like, how much does that hand cost? Because she had several Cartier rings, two Cartier bracelets, two engagement rings. Like, are you gonna, you're really going to have to bump up your household insurance with well, that? It does come at a weird time to do this lavish display of wealth because she recently recently complained that she and her fiance were feeling the mortgage pinch. So it kind of comes at odds with that. Now, since the speculation around these rings, she actually did delete the two Instagram stories, but it gets even more confusing because then on Monday, she followed up with a feed post about the ring, writing double whammy. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I was beyond spoilt by Shannon with a spa day, massages and margies and a night away at Blackbird Byron and a beautiful dinner. We are so lucky to have a daddy like you and I'm lucky to have you as my best friend. Life isn't simple or easy, especially with me, but I'm grateful for your commitment to our family and by always sticking it out. This is a big statement because as you said, a lot of people have been questioning whether the pair have broken up or their status of relationship always seems to be up in the air. So while I, there is a part of me that does think this is a part of a partnership, I also think it's a declaration of their love. And I do wonder if we will see Ruby now getting into some more wedding planning. There were a lot of followers who were excited for Ruby about the second engagement ring, but there were also others who question why the need for a second mm. engagement ring. Yeah, a lot of people said it was actually very greedy. And Ruby responded to one of these comments and said, I actually agree with a lot of what you've said. But in saying that, I think the biggest message here here is the assumption that I got another diamond. That would be absolutely gluttonous. There are many other sustainable options to add a little sparkle to your life without costing the planet or your pocket. It sounds like an ad. Well, yeah. So is she talking about mozzanite rings or lab diamonds? Is she trying to obviously say, mm. well, this jeweler does amazing lab diamonds that everyone will believe is a real diamond. Yeah, the yeah. more I hear about this, the more I think that this is a big ad. Yeah, it, no one's rocking those two huge rings no, on one finger. No, because Emily 
Ratajkowski recently revealed her divorce ring. So she had a princess cut diamond and also a pear shaped diamond on one band. But then after her divorce, she had it reworked into two separate rings. And she said that it's part of her personal evolution. And I don't think a woman should be stripped of her diamonds just because she's losing a man, which I think is a great message. Yeah, so when great- I first saw Ruby's two rings together, I thought, are they separated or what yeah, is, is going is on here? Like, breakup engagement ring? Yeah, has <laughs> she refashioned it because there's a huge relationship announcement coming, but a negative one? 